Hello fellow problem solvers. So they're going to be doing a problem from my second Junior Balkan Maths Olympia team selection test, which I passed. And problem number four, I suggest you try this nice combinatorics problem out for a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally 40 to an hour, not more than two hours, especially if you're preparing for the junior levels or you're just starting out with combinatorics or you don't feel comfortable with combinatorics. This is a nice problem to really try out to hone in those combinatoric skills. So now, without any further ado, let's begin. So we have a 2030 and gone. Okay, and its vertices have numbers written on them. In a way that the sum of any nine consecutive vertices is 300. Okay, so let's first see how are we going to use this fact? And how do we even like translate this problem into something we can deal with, some math? And I invite you here to pause for five minutes, think about that. How do we transfer, translate these words into math? And the answer is, well, we care, it seems, when we read the problem fully, about the numbers at these vertices, right, that are written on them. So let's call these numbers, let the number x1 be the number written on vertex a1, x2, all the way till x2013, the number written on the vertex a2013. And we're looking for x2013. So the sum of any nine is going to be 300. So we're going to have something like x1 plus x2 plus x9 is equal to 300. And then we're also going to have, mind you, because this is an angon, so this is circular, we're going to have like x2013 plus x1 plus x2 plus all the way till x8 is also 300. Now, I invite you to pause for the next five, ten minutes and see if you can use this condition somehow to get something that holds true about these x's. And I hope you paused. And the idea is, well, if I pick xi, xi plus xi plus 1 plus all the way till xi plus 8, this is 9 of them, is 300. And here the i's are going to be modulo 2013. This just means if I have i 2013 here, then this is going to be then x of i, x of x 2014 is going to be x1. All right, that's just like an easier way to denote this because we are using these numbers in a circle. So, and if I then take next i, next 9, then I have xi plus 8 plus x9 is also 300. Now, what is the difference between these two? Well, these two are the same, right? And the only difference is we can subtract, or we can say this is equal to 300 is equal to this. And then we're left with, we cancel these out, and we're left with xi is equal to xi plus 9. And this is true for every single i. So now here, pause for another 20 minutes and try to push the problem further. And here's the next step. So xi is equal to xi plus 9. Okay, so then we're going to have x1 is will equal to x10, will equal to x19, will equal to what? What happens when you get to around 2013? Well, all of these numbers have a remainder one when divisible by nine. So here we have the number x of 2007 is divisible by nine, so x 2008. And now what does x 2008 equal to by this? So x 2008 plus nine is going to give us what? x 2000. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and that's not 4, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's x4, and then this is equal to x4 plus 9 is equal to x13, x22 is equal to, what will we have here? Well, we will have this plus 3, so 20, 2008 plus 3 is 2011, or 2011. And now what happens when we add a 9 again? We get 
Well, 2013, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we get is equal to x7. And then we have x13 plus 3, x16, all the way to, so let's do this one as well, x25 is equal to, what will we have, x2011 plus 3? We will get actually 2012, 2013, x1 again. So before, but before x1, what do we get? We get the number 2005. So now we have x1, x4, x7 is equal to x10, x13, x16. What do you see? Can you now pause and try to solve the problem for the next 10 minutes? And here's the next idea. The next idea is, well, okay, now I can show that in the same way, x2 is equal to x11 is equal to what is x2 that is 2000 x 2009 is equal to x5 is equal to x14 is equal to x uh, 2012 right yeah 2012 is equal to x8 is equal to x17 x 2015 minus 9 is x 2006 is equal to x 2. And now we have all the n, which are 2 mod 3, are the same. All the n, which are 1 mod 3, are the same. Actually, all x n, such that n is 1 modulo 3, is the same, are the same. All the n, which are 2 modulo 3, their x n are the same. And the same way, all the n which are 0 modulo 3 are also going to be the same, 2003. So we have, what is this going to be? 2008, 9, 2010 is equal to x6, is x15, is x 2013, which is what we need. And then this is x9 is x18 is all the way till x 2007 is equal to then x3 and now we have now we can use this condition now we know a couple of things first we know that the sum of any three of them then this whole sum xi till xi plus 8 because xi is equal to xi plus 3 we're going to have that this sum is equivalent to xi plus xi plus 1 plus xi plus 2 times 3 is 300. In other words, xi plus xi plus 1 plus xi plus 2 is equal to 100. And now, with this, when we're looking at, what do we have? We have 13, that's 1 modulo 3. Uh, 20 is 2 modulo 3, and 2013 is 0 modulo 3. So we will have, a, so, now, so now we have x13 plus x14 plus x15 is 100, and this is equal to x, so x13 is equal to 13, plus x20 plus x15 is equal to 100, so we know that x20 is 20, and then we have x15 is equal to 100 minus 13 minus 20, which is 100 minus 33, which is 67. So x15 is 67, and this is equal to x2013. And so x2013 is equal to 67. And this is a somewhat common idea in combinatorics, like that you'll see in problems. You have this condition, you know, shift by one. See what happens when you just shift by one, and then, okay, how can I use this condition? I have these two things that are equal, bam, and then I have these two things that are equal. Looking at these, like, small differences when you shift by one, they can help you solve problems. And this finishes up the JVMO team selection test from this year at the actual contest. So in, in this competition, I was first. But at the actual contest, I was not the best in my team. 
And the reason why is because of pressure, right? Is because I put a lot of pressure on myself to perform well, to get gold, get gold, get gold, get gold, and ultimately didn't enjoy the wonderful JVMO at Turkey as much as I could have. So one idea I'll leave you with from these competitions here is that they can also be nice experiences. It's good, you know, you can have amazing ambitions, like you want to ace the exam, be number one, get a gold, maybe get a silver, bronze, whatever your goals are, an honorable mention, but it's also an opportunity to enjoy yourself and find gratitude that you're able to work on yourself and do these problems, which are actually kind of fun, and you're developing skills which you will be able to use in the future. That's it for today, and as always, thanks for problem solving.